So a couple of tips on telling the story. We've always got to tell it at a third grade level. Uh, we've got to implement what we call kind of like bridges. So it's like a, it's kind of like this. You know when you're in second grade and the, the bully comes to the four square court and he just starts, you know, or whatever. And then they're like, yeah, that makes sense. And, and, and throughout your story, you can use these, what we call kind of like bridges. Um, and then you want to make sure you use words like feeling words so that the customer starts to feel and get engaged emotionally into your story. You know, have you ever had a, a, a person tell you a story and you're like, oh, that was cool. Like, cool story, bro. <laughs> it's like, like, thanks for telling this pointless story that we just had 10 minutes of wasted life. Appreciate you. You know, you want it. You want it. You want to make sure that when you're telling a story, you're bringing in an emotion that's relatable and that you have connected words in, in the story. So that it, what you're doing right now is you're controlling their straight and their state. So in the, in the sales sum, we talked about this emotional refractory period that you get to manipulate, which is a, it's just a period of time that you're changing state control and you get them in a certain state, you've got a certain amount of time to do things with them while in that state. They're gonna come in, out, in and out of states. You know, when they open the door, they're in a pissed off state. You get to go change that state, then put them in a happy state. Then you get to play with that state. Then they're in a buying state. Then they're in a, I just bought oh crap state. And now how do you play with that state? So you've got to be able to control this emotion through your stories.